Well, some folks may be a little bit warmer this winter thanks to some hard work this summer. Joining me now is our Courtney May. In Arcadia, Oklahoma, Timberlake Farms is home to almost 60 alpacas. Each animal can produce between 50 and 90 ounces of fleece per year. And at $10 an ounce, these woolly critters are worth their weight in gold. It's shearing time in Oklahoma for alpacas. Steve Hull raises alpacas at Timberlake Farms and says they are a growing part of Oklahoma agriculture. Well, alpacas are a relatively new livestock that has been in the country for about 25 or 30 years. They're an alternative to cashmere, but unlike cashmere, which is very difficult to get, this is a sustainable crop where we get a harvesting of fleece every single year. Alpacas are very robust, very strong, very gentle animals to people, and just are very easy to raise on small acreage. Steve raises alpacas as breeding stock and also for their fiber. So there are two types of fiber. There's the wakaya fiber, and those are the animals that are kind of the fuzzy wuzzy teddy bear look. And then there are the surrey. The surrey are the ones with the like the dreadlocks. And the surrey can be used because it's a straight fiber as a silk equivalent, whereas the more fluffy, crimpy fiber that's on the wakaya is used for sweaters and things like that, where you want to have what we call loft. So it just depends where you're going in terms of making things. And alpaca fiber is a little easier on the skin than wool. Well, alpaca has a very interesting quality. It doesn't itch. Um, most of us remember very well wool pants as a kid and having to put on a wool sweater and feeling that itch around our neck. Alpaca does not have that itch, so that that's one of the advantages of alpaca. When it's wet, it doesn't have that infamous wool smell, but it does, like sheep wool, does stay warm when it's wet. So it's actually quite a versatile fiber. It's also very strong. Hot as Oklahoma summers are, Steve says the alpacas need shearing before the heat sets in. Alpacas do not shed. They are a domesticated animal, and even back hundreds and hundreds of years ago in South America, these animals had to be shorn. They used sharp obsidian knives to shear them. But today, we shear once a year in Oklahoma. We try to shear before it gets too hot because we need to get that thick winter fleece off them so they can do well in the summer here. Kate Simpson is a large animal vet. She says shear day is time to examine the animals. Yeah, it's a lot like a spa day, but we're, we're really not doing any uh, nail painting here today. <laughs> they're getting sheared, but they're also getting their teeth looked at um, and trimmed down if needed. Um, they're getting their feet looked at and trimmed if needed. Several of them need it. It's good to do that periodically, just like for health and maintenance. And then they're also getting kind of a quick all-over check once the fiber comes off. Steve and other local producers are part of an alpaca cooperative. As alpaca owners, we're sending our fiber to the Alpaca Fiber Co-op of North America, or AFCNA, which then takes our fiber and makes it into finished goods, such as hats and socks and mittens and sweaters and things like that. Janice Robinson is part of the co-op, and she takes the yarn produced from their fleece and creates beautiful, handcrafted clothing. It's a green product, it's a self-sustaining product, the fiber business well supports the monies that we spend in feed for our animals, so it keeps going, you know, it takes care of itself. And this value-added product looks to connect personally with its customers. What I do on my yarns is I always have a picture of the alpaca, and my husband and I say that it's fiber with a face. It's uh, you see the alpaca, and you want to be able to, oh, I want Fiona's yarn, or I, you know, that's what I do here, is you have a picture of the animal that you actually, the yarn's made from. Putting a face on a craft made from an exotic animal right here in Oklahoma. This fleece is considered to be higher quality than sheep wool, and in the 1700s, alpaca fleece was used to make clothing for the royalty and was referred to as the fiber of the gods. That's pretty highfalutin. So are these high status items then? Well, you can buy reasonably priced items made from alpaca fleece, and you can also buy high-end items. Mm -hmm. In fact, world-famous designer Giorgio Armani uses alpaca fleece to make his specialty suits that are worn by many celebrities. Well, I do have an alpaca sweater, but I'm pretty sure it's not an Armani. Thank you so much, Courtney. You're welcome, Rob.